Hi, this is Paulo from the MB Academy, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make keys and basses like Caliber for his remix of the track Garden. So, this is the original track. And this is my recreation. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. But first, let me show you the piano roll. Okay, so this is our progression. We're going to be playing a C minor 7. And then after four bars, we're going to play the same chord, but we're going to stack one octave of the fundamental. So the transition will be. And then in the last bar, we're going to transition into a B flat. And we're just going to stack an octave of A sharp. And keep the C note that creates the melody. So that'll be your chord progression. You can copy this if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's go back into Serum. Okay, so for creating that type of smooth keys, we need a simpler waveform. So we need to change this into a sine wave. Now we need to add the plucky movement into them. So for that, we're gonna use envelope one. And in case you don't know, envelope number one is mapped to the global amplitude of Serum. So if we change the sustain here, we're changing the global values for the amplitude modulation of the sound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the sustain all the way down. We're gonna bring the decay to around 108. And then we're gonna bring this point up. And then we're gonna add a bit of attack just to avoid a super strong click. There you go. Now we're gonna add another sine wave into oscillator B and boost it one octave up. We're gonna bring its level a bit lower. So it makes us better with the first sine wave. And then we're gonna go into the effects and we're gonna add some delay. And we're gonna set the speeds of these delays to eighth notes. We can also play with the filter. In this case, I'm gonna leave it around 1700. And I'm gonna boost the mix. If you want the tail to be longer, you can boost the feedback. And then we're gonna add some reverb. And now the reverb along with the delay it's gonna add that dreamy effect. Cool, so now we have the main layer of the keys. And we're gonna pair those keys with a grand piano. I'm using the Ableton's default piano, but you can use any piano that you really like. We're gonna add a lot of reverb. And then we're gonna filter this piano like this. Just so we get this range two layer with the serum keys. And then we're gonna add even more reverb. So we're kind of creating a pad with this piano. So now if we layer these two together. And now for the cool movement that happens at the end of this bar. What we need to do, let me just turn off the effects, is to resample the original keys and bring them down 12 semitones. So this will be the original. And then we just hit R to reverse it, put it at the end of the bar, fade it, and then bring it down one octave. 
I'm using Complex Pro with zero formant. And then just simply EQing, adding some delay, reverb, and a bit of compression. It's not really doing anything, it's just adding gain. Cool. So that is it for keys. Cool, and now the last layer is the simple piano. This is the melody. And we just added two transition between the first and the second half. And it has the same processing. It's filtered, it has reverb, it has a bit of OTT, EQing, delay, and reverb. So without any effects, it sounds like this. Now with the EQ, which is essentially filtering out the high frequencies and also low ones, then some reverb, then OTT, then some delay, and once again, reverb. So that is it for keys. Now if we listen to all of this, Cool. Now let's jump into the bass. Okay, so here we have another initialized patch. And the setup for this bass is going to be real simple. Once again, we're going to use a sine wave. We're going to map an LFO into a level. Bring it around 50%. And then add a bit of rhythm and movement with LFO number one. We're going to set it on trigger and boost the rate. And now it kind of has that plucky feel. We're going to add a bit of release and add a bit of attack to avoid clicks. And now we're going to go into the effects and add a bit of distortion. But instead of adding tube distortion, which will add too many harmonics, we're going to use soft clip. Just so we have a small amount of harmonics and then we're going to add some gain with the compressor. And now we have a really strong your sine wave. So now if we mix this with the keys, cool, so now the last step is to activate the mono and legato function, add a bit of glide time, just a transition between notes like this. And now let me show you the piano roll. So instead of just playing the same C note, we're going to be using C, going back to G, which is the fifth of C. But instead of going up seven semitones, we're going down five semitones. Then using A sharp as a transitional note to then go into an octave of G. So the movement will be like this. And then repeating this same movement right here to go back into C. So the whole progression will be like this. So once more, here's the original track. And here are soloed synths. Cool. So now with drums. Okay, so that's gonna be it for keys and basses like Caliber. So if you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you wanna get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.